Fernand, I don't know if you are a betting man or not, but place your bets. Does he show up? Uh, not a betting man, but I do feel confident enough, Alicia, to say he doesn't show up. This is one of those rare opportunities for Donald Trump that he actually wins by not showing up because he is going to be the dominant specter of that debate, whether he's there or not. And I think shrewdly, one of the things the Trump campaign understands, and this is due to the disastrous start of the Ron DeSantis campaign, they recognize that this is a make or break moment for DeSantis. With Trump not being there, it allows all of the other Republican contenders to pile on DeSantis in the hope of they themselves becoming the Trump alternative in the Republican primary. And Trump can only make a mistake by showing up. I don't think he participates. And I think for him, it's a wise decision. Right. I mean, David, I, I feel like it's a pretty safe bet in the context of bets that this guy is not going to show up at the debate. In as much as I sort of take Fernand's point about how they can pile up on DeSantis, it would also seem to me that they're in a perhaps different universe is an opportunity for them to decide on what a joint strategy is about Donald Trump, right? To either convince Fox News, let, let's put a podium up that that is just empty, right? Let's, if he is going to be the elephant in the room, if it is sort of undeniable that the first 15 minutes of question and answer is about the front runner who has cho chosen not to be there and the multiple indictments that he's facing, is there a way for the Republicans to actually leverage that in their favor? I don't think so. I agree with, with Ferdinand. Zero reason for Donald Trump to show up. And to your point, then, what do Republicans do about Donald Trump himself? Yes, they can pile on Ron DeSantis. Here's the thing. We just learned at that conference last week, Republicans can't take shots at Donald Trump even if he's not there. We saw what happened to Will Hurd and Chris Christie and Mike Pence and others. And so you'll see this weird dynamic of some pe some Republicans probably defending Donald Trump that night even though he hasn't shown up. Donald Trump has one job between now and mid-March, which is to stay out of jail. And the way you stay out of jail legally is you delay the trial past March and you get off your true social account. That's it. If he stays out of jail, this is his nomination. And then the dynamic is completely reset because it's a binary contrast between Donald Trump, the Republican nominee, Joe Biden, the incumbent president. So, for instance, sort of flip the question on its head. If you're Ron DeSantis, do you want Trump to skip the debate or do you hope he shows up? Oh, no, 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 no. Ron DeSantis doesn't want anyone to debate him because, as Charlie Chris <laughs> showed in 2022, he is a horrific debater with a glass jaw. He does not take any type of criticism uh, mildly. So he's in a bad situation. That's actually, Alicia, why his campaign agreed to debate Gavin Newsom. He's looking for anything, any kind of a desperate lifeline to restart his campaign. Luckily, he doesn't have to worry about that until November. But for Ron DeSantis, no, you don't want Trump showing up at all. And again, this debate is simply a function of the fact that because he's been so weak in his launch, this presumed challenger to Trump that was supposed to be leading Trump at this point in the debate, the fact that the others are going to see that and they smell blood in the water, it's DeSantis's blood in the water, I expect them to pounce and pounce repeatedly on Ron DeSantis.